I'll even go so far as to say I've been expecting you. Whoa! Oh my god, she's gonna kidnap her. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god, what is this show? Hey guys, it's me, 1239 here, and I'm here to give you guys my episode 3 reaction of Anne of Avonlea. Now, I haven't done a reaction to this show in a really long time, and that's because I've been in school, so yeah, it does take longer for these videos to come out, but I am back doing one. We left off with Dory. So we left off last episode with Dora seemingly getting herself stuck into the well, but we don't know, like there was a cliffhanger and all that. If you guys haven't seen my previous two reactions to the show, then I have a playlist. I'll leave it somewhere in the cards up here. Watch this first before you watch this so that it makes sense. And yeah, now let's get started with this reaction. Oh, she's not down there. Oh, where did she go then? What the heck? I mean, yeah, thank God she could have died, but like, where is she? I've been over at Carmody. I only just got back. Carmody, huh? It's not Carmody. <laughs> she's had nothing to eat since breakfast. Oh. Besides, who is there? You've been out all day and you said you did try Rachel's. What if she like hid herself? I said they were headed in the opposite direction over towards my place. Who? What? When? Oh, Davy and Dora. Well, she didn't go anywhere with Davy, did she? Uh, <laughs> Davy? Yo, what is what is even happening? Oh Come my on. god, whoa. So that means he knows where she is. Dora. Oh my god. Anne! Anne, it's me! Where? Oh, <laughs> the little one went to space and I can't get out. Who bought her in? Dora! A great big fat spider came out and rolled him up and it was horrible. Ew. Davy put me in here, and he shut the door and went away. What? And I couldn't get out. Why would he do that? I'm. And he also left. Like he's. He's gonna go to jail. I'm so confused. Why would he do that to his sister? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Also, wasn't he pretending that he didn't know where she was? And it was like. It was convincing, but like, also why? Like why, did he lock her in by accident and then didn't want to tell anyone because he could get in trouble? And, oh, there he is. <laughs> I love how they don't say anything to each other. Are you going to give him a whipping like you did Anthony Pye? Oh. And I, oh. We're back at this again, huh? I feel so bad. I feel bad for Dora though, not really for him. I just, I don't understand what's going on. Good luck, Davy. Aww. She's such a good sister. She's probably like one of my favorite. She's probably my favorite character in the show. How could you do such a thing? Oh, I just did it for fun. Oh my God, I can't. I thought it'd be fun to give you folks a big scare. What? I don't believe you, Davy. You kept it up for too long for it to be just Yeah. Fun. To me, the, the lies were almost the worst part of it. I know, right? Are you sorry now you did it? What? I'm... I was afraid you'd be glad. Glad about what? Because there'd be one less to feed. Wait a minute, what? He thought that she would be glad that Dora was, like, dead so that she didn't have two mouths to feed? I don't get it. Nobody likes us for long. Oh. Even our pa. I don't want to keep going to different places. <laughs> oh, Davy. This is so messed up. But also now I feel bad. Now I kind of get it, but also I'm just like, what? Oh, it's from Priscilla. Oh, Pris who the heck is Priscilla? Oh, is that Prissy? Right? That's Prissy, right? That has to be Prissy. I can't believe it. Marilla, she's bringing her here to Green Gables. You know Priscilla's related to Charlotte E. Morgan who wrote The Rosebud Garden and all those beautiful mm. books. Well, she's got a friend who lives in White Sands and she's coming to see her Saturday and Priscilla's asking, can she bring him here? To come to dinner, she says. Isn't it wonderful? The Rosebud Garden. It's my favorite book. She's such a fangirl. Would you be offended if I asked you a question? What? Depends. Would you mind terribly if I cooked every bit of the dinner all by myself? <laughs> I'll try and bear up. She's like, we don't want you cooking the dinner. We want to impress her. Well, I found out yesterday quite by accident. <laughs> quite by accident, Anne. What? Liver pills, comb, plasters, and stomach powder right along the whole length of his fencing. Who's fencing? Oh, oh my god. Well, just as long as nobody asks me to go near him again, he just doesn't take girls seriously. Oh, that's true. No, the best plan would be one of each. Uh, They're gonna say make you and Anne. Anne go. They're gonna make Anne go, obviously. Friday evening to discuss the best approach and then tackle him together on Saturday. Mm. Oh, no, not Saturday, Gilbert. I'm sorry. Oh? 
like to come with you, Gilbert, if you think I'd be any good. Oh. Done. Thank you, Ruby. <gasps> Ruby and Gilbert. Does it have to be so soon? <laughs> You can tell she's jealous. Rupert is real. I won't forget to ask my mother if you can borrow the table silver. Oh, thank you. Yo, that's such an insult to Marla. I was gonna say Rachel. That's what happens when you miscast. I'm still not over it. But like, that's such an insult to her. Because Diana is in a much higher class than Anne is. And so like asking for her silverware is like saying that Marilla's silverware is not good enough for the dinner. For me to say to Paul, your, your work is no good. And the next time you're lonely and upset, don't come and tell me about it. What? Well, I can't do that. No, no I can't. Not. Charlotte E. Morgan will be here on Saturday. Yeah, we know. She knows so much about the human heart. I'll ask her. Oh god, she's not even asking her for advice anymore. I still miss the parrot. Mr. Harrison, why is it that you're so good and kind to people when they're in trouble and so very disagreeable at other times? <laughs> That's true. Oh, He does have a good heart. Goodbye. <laughs> what do I get? Bag full of stale scraps that nobody else would look at. Oh, <laughs> He's so sweet. He's so cute. City folks don't eat like you and I, Marilla. Marilla, again with the Marilla. The best thing would be if I came too. <laughs> they don't want to go. That's so funny. Oh, fiddlesticks, Marilla, it's your house. Fiddlesticks? She just said fiddlesticks. That's Marilla's line. Stay in your lane, Rachel. Also, you should have been Marilla. I've been in the kitchen and Marilla said not in there. Anybody think I'm going to explode or something? But where do I go then? In the kitchen. Only don't touch anything and find something quiet to do. Oh, he's gonna mess something up. I bet he's gonna mess something up. Oh, Dora, Dora is so cute. I know that he's gonna mess something up. Like, I'm almost sure of it. You do far too much for the society. It's not fair. The others should do more. Trouble is, they don't do it half as well as you. No, I don't know. It's Ruby, she's moving in on Anne's <laughs> I can't believe I even said that. Well, that's the only thing about it. I do feel sometimes, oh, how can I put it? She's a bit, not unfeminine exactly, sort of underdeveloped. <laughs> Whoa. When it's really time, she started behaving a bit more, well. Like a woman? More like a woman. Oh my god, no. Oh my god. Oh, well, uh, if we're going, it's time we- Wait, what if he actually does fall in love with Ruby? That would be a plot twist. I would kind of be into that, because I want to see something different. Ruby would kind of be like Winifred in a way. That sugar you put in there? <laughs> yes, Davy. It's a tip I learned from Marilla. Just one little teaspoonful makes them taste better. He's gonna put more in there for sure. Oh. You stand right there. <laughs> Marilla just doesn't know what to do. <laughs> That's me when someone comes over. Oh my god. I'm not late, am I? <laughs> yes, yes, queen. Where in thunder did you dig that up? Right? It's a gown I keep for special occasions. This is hilarious. What the heck is she wearing? <laughs> oh my god, he put more. I know it. He put more. Oh, she's gonna put more. Oh god. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god. No. No, no, no. Oh my god. I put an awful lot of thought into this party and I planned it very carefully and I can assure you that there is nothing that can go wrong. Yeah, right. Oh, Davy! Please go upstairs, Davy. I'm sure it was an accident, but I've got an awful lot in my mind and I'd be awfully happy if you were upstairs. Seems a pity to waste it all. Upstairs. Oh my god, you're so upstairs. <laughs> She's trying to like maintain her temper low, you know? Uh, are the vegetables all right? Well, I think so, yes. No. No, 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 no. Here or not. Oh, no! Jane, no! My mother always does. Oh, I've done it already. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Why? Oh, in the bucket, Jane. <laughs> You mean the one she lent you for the bazaar? Well, she gave $20 for it, didn't she? Oh, she's Diana's aunt. Do you think she'd mind? Oh, Aunt Jo? On Joe's coming? Is that them? <laughs> Just another disaster waiting to happen. Oh, they can't come. It's from Priscilla. She can't come. She's Mrs. Morgan sprained her ankle. She she says she's very sorry. Oh. She has to go back to Toronto by the end of the week. Toronto, cool. Can I come in? Yes, yes, all right. Whee! <laughs> as well eat. 
Yeah, might as well. Oh no! Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I knew it. Isn't that Aunt Joe's? Oh. That's a funny place to keep plates, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, um, what's his name again? Walter? No, it's not Walter. Is it Paul? It's Paul, right? And can we take some matches? Then we can light a fire and cook our food. <laughs> what the Davey. heck, Davy? They'll probably end up being friends by the end of this show. I asked you and Dora first, and if either of you don't want him, then I won't ask. Good, cause I don't want him, so don't. This kid. And oh. Sorry, I hollered at you. Oh. I have a love-hate relationship with <laughs> with this character. Oh, I like this. I really like this. They're finally going out into nature. This is what Anne would be like with their own kids. Harrison has a woman in there, living with them. Time he got hold of a housekeeper. Scandalous. <laughs> Marilla, I want to know who she is and what she's doing there, even if I have to go over and find out for myself. Why? I had that once before when you thought he was burying people under the flagstones, and that didn't get you very far. I'm not talking about just murder. Now I'm talking about downright immorality. <laughs> what the heck? As if murdering someone isn't immoral, like... <laughs> Oh no, is someone gonna die in this episode? Is that Paul? <laughs> the boat scene, yes. I love the boat scene. Aww. He just wants a family that actually loves him. What do you want? I'd like a few words with Mr. Harrison, if you don't mind. Not till you tell me who you are and what you want with him. Excuse me. I have no intention of letting designing women come tramping in and out of this house. Oh! <laughs> Would you, by any chance, be the one that they describe as one of its most popular ladies? What does that mean? <laughs> in that case, I think perhaps you had better come in. I'll even go so far as to say I've been expecting you. Whoa! Oh my god, she's gonna kidnap her. <laughs> oh no! Well, there he is, for what he's worth. <laughs> he's like, I don't want to see her, what the heck? Anything you've got to say to my husband, you can say in front of me. Oh, husband. husband. You mean you're his wife? Even had it put in the paper. Gonna lead you to the altar, is he? Ooh. Not if I can stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was all I am. It's too late, ah! Rachel, my little oh. honey bun. <laughs> Our guilty secret is out. She knows all about us. What the heck is going on? Huh? Ugh. <laughs> oh my god, what is the show? Oh no, he's gonna fall in. Oh, she looks like Anne, except blonde. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Is that gonna be Gilbert? Amesbury is a good man. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Hello? What are you doing here? Picnicking. You, uh, been here long? You could say. It's interesting how they use the apple as, like, this seductive device, I guess. Like, with Gilbert and Anne in episode two, he, like, wanted a bite of her apple. And then here, she's, like, eating that apple in front of whatever his name is. I don't remember, but, yeah, I just thought it was interesting. When you're over there, you can find out what happened to Rachel. She got kidnapped. It's his wife, Anne. Why? She's a... Very nice woman. Wow, we love that. <laughs> we love them getting along. Come, Rachel. You can finish what you were telling me about Mrs. Pie. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of sweet. Now she has someone to talk to now. Good, hot, regular meals and clean sheets. Someone to talk to in the evening and nurse you when you're sick. And other stuff. But we're not going to talk about that. No one broke it up. It was Ginger. She threatened to have him put down. Ginger. If you're gonna make such a bosom friend of that Rachel Lynn, you can go to her house and gossip, because I ain't having her in here. Yeah, they're like bosom friends. And we're lost. Well, we can't be very lost. It's all right. There's a house down there we can go to. Echo Lodge? How do we know whose house it is? You mean it might be the Witch of the Wood? This is like Hansel and Gretel. Hello, is uh, Miss Lewis at home? Yes, ma'am. I'll tell her you've come. She's all ready for you, ma'am. Wait, what? <laughs> This is like Hansel and Gretel. Does this happen in the book? I don't, I don't get it. Aren't you hungry after walking all that way? Miss Lewis, I can't tell a lie. I'm absolutely ravenous. <laughs> and Diana's always twice as hungry as I am. <laughs> there isn't any party. There's just Charlotte and me. Aww. Charlotte, you may bring in the tea now. Yes, ma'am. Mine, don't let it boil. No, ma'am. I, I feel like something's gonna happen here. I think that doing things that are fun for you and no harm to anybody else will... It's the most sensible way anyone could possibly behave. Aww. The horn. What? Oh, the... <laughs> what the heck is going on? Why, that's wonderful! Oh. Laugh, Charlotte. 
<laughs> I would run. Don't you like her, Marilla? Yes, I liked her well enough. We need to find Marilla a kindred spirit. And I'm sure it's gonna be Lavender. She was engaged to Stephen Irving. Paul Irving's father. Oh. There is no need to mention to anybody that little conversation I had with Jerry. Jerry. Oh, it's quite impossible. He's so unreasonable. Yeah. And Anne going to fall yeah. on this. Why does Ruby always have to blame Anne? I've been having a word with Judd Parker about his fence. He's huh? uh, changed his mind. What he did you do? Hey, why well, you putting that thing on? Because I gotta move all the feathers out of this into this clean one here and they fly everywhere. What's in this brown bottle? Freckle lotion. Freckle lotion? Oh, she's gonna confuse the bottles. Wait a minute. This is not. Oh! Now, who can that be? <gasps> it's gonna be the author. It's gonna be the author. No! Hello, Anne. It's me. Priscilla. Oh my god, what yes. What brings you here? It's Prissy. Not Charlotte. Her ankle's better now. And her friend, Mrs. Pendexter. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I knew it. Oh my god. Oh, Mrs. Morgan, you don't know what it means for me to meet you at last. I've read every one of your books, and you're just how I always imagined. <laughs> this is Mrs. Charlotte Morgan. Oh, that's even Hello. worse. Oh, God. <laughs> that was pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> I felt Anne's embarrassment there. Not that I've ever done that, but it's just... Oh, oh my god. I can't wait to see what happens in the next episode. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this episode. If you liked it, if you didn't, what were your favorite parts? All of that stuff can be, you know, discussed in the comments if you guys want. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for always watching. Like this video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you guys want. I will hopefully be coming out with the next part of the series soon. Right now we're halfway through the series or six episodes overall and we just finished episode three, so there's not that many left, but I'm kind of sad that this is like almost over because I actually have been enjoying the series. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Mwah.